Hey YouTube, John here again with a part 8 on my Pixel Kings. Um, I was out the other day doing these shots. Now, if you've watched the video, you will have seen these shots, all these shots, what I did. But, <clears throat> when the reason why I've come back to this, because today I didn't have time to do it. When I was out doing this shot, I actually decided, instead of overexposing the shot like this, to up my aperture and bring the sky down because it was a nice blue sky and I was going to use flash, off camera flash, not modified obviously, just direct flash about a metre away firing into him to illuminate him. Now, um, I'm probably going to go back and do this again on a nice day because I'm actually quite upset with what I found out. When, when I was there, I took this shot obviously, then I thought, I'm not happy with the sky, it's a lovely blue sky. So I thought, I'll underexpose, uh, uh, sorry, I think I was using uh, 500 of a second. I thought, right, I'll up my aperture a bit just to bring the sky down. Um, and I think I ended up at about an, F, an F9 or an F10. And the sky came nice and blue, but obviously Ethan was dark. So I put my Pixel Kings on my 600D. And I put my YN560 Mark II, not the... YN565 EX, so the YN560 on a light stand about a metre away at quarter power. I, I chose quarter power because obviously I had ISO 1600 on so I could get a good shutter speed. Um, now, I was led to believe that the Pixel Kings, they let you go above your sync speed. Now, I thought that they were the same as the TR332s, what I used to have, where on any flash you can bust your sync speed and it'll still work. Anyway, I was so, so wrong. I, w I took a picture at quarter power and it still came out, it came out really dark. So I put it up to half power, took a picture, put it up to full power, took a picture. And there wasn't any difference in the exposure on him whatsoever. Now, I then, something made me think about my shutter speed and I thought, I wonder, does hypersync work on this or not? So from the camera... I slowed my shutter speed down to 200 of a second, which was my sync speed of my 600D. And I took a shot and it blew him completely out. And so I thought, right, I'm not going to mess with this right now because I didn't have my Canon flash with me. If I'd have had my Canon, I probably could have pulled it out and I know that would have worked in high speed sync because I wanted the good shutter speed, you see. Anyway, I slung it back in my bag and I, this is the shot I ended up with. I just overexposed it and I got this shot. Anyway, to not bore you any longer, this morning, just before I made the video, I thought, oh, I'm going to pull this out and see what was happening. So I pulled out my 600D, I pulled out the YN560 Mark II, took a shot in my bedroom, it's a full flash shot, because um, it's dark in bedroom, at 200 of a second, got my exposure with a flash, then I upped to 250th from 200. Now, the Pixel Kings let you bust your sync speed, and bang, it went pitch black. There wasn't even any light whatsoever. It just went black. Totally and utterly pitch black like the flash didn't go off, but it did go off. Um, so I got my YN560 Mark One. I tried that. <coughs> I then decided to try it on my 50D. Because my, and on my 50D, I got to 250th of a second. Soon as I went to 320th, which is one, one third of a stop above my sync speed, boom, went pitch black. Now that would explain why the other day that um, it went pitch black. I mean, it doesn't even give you a line. Now, in all fairness with this shot, if you bust your sync speed on on a normal camera or a, fla a flash that doesn't support high speed sync, you'd get a little line here because I always put my shuttle button on the top. So you get the line here and that's what... I would have thought, especially with him being over left, I thought I would have got away with 1500 easy because the flash just wouldn't have covered up to about here. But I was so, so wrong. So that's actually, it's actually bugged me really because it, it, it says that you can use 1 8000 of a second. So it makes you think, yeah, and you can bust your sync speed on any flash, but it doesn't work. It just goes pitch black. So you can't even go one third of a stop over because it goes pitch black. Now, when I tried my YN565EX, which is not an high speed sync flash either, that worked a bit better. When I, when I took a shot in the bedroom with my, say, 50D, and I went over my sync speed, I started to just get a little line, and then a bigger line, and then a bigger line, and then when I took it horizontal, uh, uh, 
normal way, I started to get a line along the bottom. So the posher flash did give me the line, but the cheap, which you would get when you bust your sink speed, but the cheap flashes, the YN560 and the YN560 Mark II, they just totally not, they did nothing. It just went pitch black. So you cannot bust your sink speed, even though your camera will let you, you can just speed your shutter up and it says high speed sinks engaged. What happens is that um, it, it just totally and utterly gives you a black line. Um, I actually didn't think, well no, because if I change it to first curtain, yeah, I'd have to enable high speed. I was just thinking if I change my curtain to first, would it do anything then? But no, it would just keep me in my sink speed then. So, yeah, the YN565EX behaved where I get the line, so you could cheat your sink speed a little bit. I would have got away with it here at 500, probably, because it would have covered about half of the frame, so I still would have got away with it here. Um, but to be in all fairness, now I know about it, next time I'll make sure I take my Canon 580X, which would have done high speed sync and it wouldn't have been a problem. Um, so that's a negative for me. I'm not disappointed, but I, I, I thought with it letting you speed up your shutter that you could use high speed sync on any flash like you could with a cheap TR332 pixel, pixel nights they were called. Um, they let you do that even with crappy flashes, you could still bust your sync speed. Anyway, on to a bonus now. I then did, for some reason, I had the cheap YN560 Mark II on my 600D on the Pixel Kings. And I thought, oh, I'll just try rear curtain sync. Someone just made me try rear curtain sync. I thought it won't work, but I'll try it anyway, you know what I mean? And rear curtain sync works on all my flashes, even on the cheap on the cheap YN560s and the YN560 Mark IIs, if you've got the Pixel Kings on. I'll state that again, if you've got Pixel King triggers it works, not just off camera. So yeah, Pixel King triggers, go into your flash menu, choose rear curtain sync, and it, and it worked. I tried it at a second shutter speed in here, on all my flashes, and all my flashes went off at the end of the exposure. So that that's a cool thing, so I found a negative and a cool thing. If anyone knows that I'm missing something, do, do I have to engage something to get high speed sync or hyper sync to work on cheaper flashes? Can you please let me know? Thanks very much.